Hello everyone, welcome to the Nail Tip Show. Today, I'm excited to share with you how to sculpt a beautiful plexi gel shaper using CND Future Form. Like always, if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe to our channel, follow us on the Facebook and Instagram as well. All right, so let's get started. If you are looking at the screen, I have a CND Plexi Gel kit right here. Is it? This is a full kit. Um, it has a bonder, uh, a builder, and a shaper and protector top coat. So with with this set, you can build. Oh my god, a lot of set with this. But let me take a moment and just kind of show you the difference of between the builder and the shaper. The builder it has a thicker viscosity and obviously the sh uh, shaper has a slightly thinner viscosity it ha and it also has a little bit more uh, clarity to it if, if let me just show you let me open both bottle bottle right here and show you as you can see i'm gonna pull up the cap and you can see the viscosity is a little different the other side slightly runnier you see the drip and this side slow, the builder side is slightly slower. So the viscosity is slight different, but pretty much it. It just matter of what you're doing to your clients. You just use as a preference, whether you like thicker viscosity or thinner viscosity. Okay. So yeah, let me show you how it use. Okay. I already prepared one hand for you just to give you the final sh look of how it's done. But now I'm going to show you a step by step of how it's done. And I'm using the um, shaper gel with this set. OK, I hope you like this look because it's really fun and easy to do. All right. So I already prepped my nail. OK, so if you look at uh, what I have here is the CND Future Form. Uh, you can see it has uh, it made with a sturdy foil like material um, makes it for flexible mold and another thing I really love about it it has a lot of um, grids and guidelines for you to follow so it, it kind of gives you um, uh, you know easier for you to trim and tailor the form and it has really strong adhesive as well so I feel like it's really a great form so now let me show you Okay, I'm gonna put that out of the way. So first thing first, since I'm only doing like a, kind of like a medium length, I, I don't need that um, reinforcement of the back here. So I'm just gonna take that off. And then I'm gonna trim the front of the form right here. All right, and then with my fingers and my thumb, I'm just gonna roll the form a little bit uh, to give the curvature. And then I'm gonna show you, then I'm gonna Go in underneath the free edge right there and just kind of see where I need to cut the, the lines to tailor the form. Okay, so now I'm just gonna aim it. And another thing I wanna show you is that don't keep the form flat because when you flat like that, you see the line's gonna be different. Almost keep it like to the curvature of the nail. That way you can see exactly where you need okay to cut all right now i'm going to take that off i'm going to take a small scissor and just trim the line okay you want to take the, you do want to do both sides And I'm gonna go back one more time and see if that fits well. Oops. Let me put on my glasses. All right, oh, that better, okay. So I'm gonna see, I still need to tailor light slightly bit more, but now I'm gonna see if it fits under the free edge. That looks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna, I see I need, need to just cut a little bit more on this side. So I'm just take that off. And next, I'm, what I'm gonna do is pinch the tabs first, just so then it helps me to keep the form a symmetry and then line up straight. So then I'm gonna use the guide of the form 
and then just place it under the free edge all right and then I'm just gonna you see number one right here just kind of pinch that together all right before I secure the form I'm just gonna see if that line up straight or not I'm gonna flip her hand and then make sure I have everything nice and straight and this is where you adjust your form okay all right and then before I I close the tab and everything I'm just gonna make sure it's lined up straight so I'm gonna pinch slightly more and because I'm going for a more like an almond look, I'm just gonna pinch the tip of the form together. So it's kind of like create that taper uh, shape for me, All right? I notice I need a trim a little bit more, so I'm just gonna go in with the scissor. Actually, I'm gonna go from here and trim that edge off just a tiny bit. Right, and then I'm gonna try to fit that under the free edge. All right. Once I line everything up and make sure the free edge is nice and tight, there's no gaps. If you look at this view right here, you see the form fits pretty well. Yeah, I know. You see that? Fits and no gaps, okay? The form is really sturdy, so before you pinch or you secure the form, make sure it's all lined up straight because once you secure it, it's harder for you to adjust it because, like I said, it's, it has really strong adhesive, so um, it stays, okay? So now that I have everything pretty much to my liking, what I'm gonna do next, since I'm gonna cure this under the, inside the lamp and I wanna trim this part right here just so then it gives me more room to fit under the free inside the lamp okay it should be nice and straight okay so then you want to check the free edge a little one more time make sure everything nice and tight okay all right so now i'm just gonna go ahead and start with my first coat of bonder so now i'm just gonna go in just a First thin coat of bonder and go in the lamp and cure it for 10 seconds. Okay, now that I have done that, I'm just gonna take my shaper gel. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a first coat on the nail plate, a thin coat, okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the bottle and scoop pretty nice nice bead right here I'm gonna roll it right here at the free edge area okay and then I'm gonna clean my brush and use the tip of the brush now I'm just gonna guide the gel and sketch out my shape Just use the tip of the brush and float the product back and forth and sketch out the shape, okay? And you want to connect the gel to the free edge as well, all right? Bef before I do anything, I also want to take the detail brush right here and just kind of use the gel. I have a little bit more right here. So I'm just gonna pull that up a little bit. I'm just gonna take that gel and guide it to the stress area. Cause I know sometimes with the bigger brush, it, it couldn't get in the little corner. So I'm just using my detail brush and just guide that gel to where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna have the gravity pull. If uh, I see a little gel on the side, I can also use a little bit, um, I'm sorry, 
you can use the pusher to clean the side if needed. Okay, before you put in the lamp because you don't want the gel on the skin. It's gonna burn your client, okay? So make sure, make sure you pay attention to that little detail. What I'm gonna do here, pull her nail over, upside down, and keep the finger parallel to the table and look at that gravity pull, all right? You wanna keep it about three to five seconds, all right? And then have her flip back and take one more look. If you're happy with that, then have her go in and cure that for um, uh, 30 seconds or 60 seconds, depend on your lamp, okay guys? So now once that is cured, I'm gonna go in with another layer, okay? This time, you wanna create a wet layer on the entire nail. All right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Shaper Gel and I'm gonna cr create a slip layer And you want to apply that on entire nail all the way to the end of extension edge and then I'm gonna go back in the bottle and scoop up another large bead okay and then this time I'm just gonna slowly float that bead around the apex area and just float down to the end of the extension edge and you want to do that slowly and then what I'm going to do is taking that brush and just float that bead to both sides I'm going to reinforce a little bit more around the perimeter of that extension edge and that shape that I wanted You want to make sure you're building up the apex and if you feel like you don't want to put too much you don't have to do a lot just do a thin coat and slowly build it up okay I'm just gonna take my detail brush and make sure I drag the gel as tight and clean as possible okay and then I'm gonna again flip her nail for grab for gravity pull wow that looks good okay for about three to five seconds again and then I'm gonna flip it back and take another look then I'm gonna go in and fully cure that for 60 seconds. And another tip I wanna give you too, if some of your clients are pretty sensitive, what you can do is have the light on, but don't put your client's nail all the way in. Just kinda of leave right outside the lamp and kinda of flash cure that about 10 seconds and then have her go in fully cure for 60 seconds. That way she doesn't, um, cause I know some people get sensitive to the, to the gel and the heat. So just kind of cure 10 seconds right um, outside the lamp. And then after that, just go in the lamp and fully cure for 60 seconds. Once that cured, I'm gonna take the form off. So what you do is peel that butterfly off on the side right on the top, and then just pinch this form pinch it really tight and then just kind of go from under okay and there voila you see that so now once I have that that form out I'm gonna take a look on the side view that looks pretty good right guys and if you need to let's just say you don't have enough you can always go back now so let's just say you don't have enough. I'm just going to put a thin coat over it again to reinforce that, that tip, the extension edge a little bit more. So I'm just going to put another thin coat and get a little bit more and just flood that top. Because I know this, my extension edge a little thin. 
So I'm just going to pull that. Okay, let me look at one more time. Just right here. And you see, so then you can always use your detail brush and look at this nail. Okay, I want to show you the side view. If you feel like certain area you need, you know, to move the gel, just take the little detail brush and just move it and blend that out. So easy. Because the gel is pretty much self level. You just pour and guide that gel a little bit then it will float to wherever you guide the gel to. Okay. All right. I'm just make sure everything nice and tight. Okay. I'm just going to flip that one more time. All right, I'm gonna pull it back, take a look, and then I'm gonna have it through the cure now. Another tip I wanna give you too is that if you were working on a client in the salon, um, you, you can either switch hand, you know, for each finger at a time, or you can, you know, do everything in one hand, but flash cure with a little small, um, like a little flashlight, what I have here. So you can do that, that way you can finish, you know, each step on each finger and just move on until you're fully done with one hand and just have every, uh, the whole hand cure for 60 seconds and that will be your, fin your final curing, all right? Not bad, right guys? So now I'm just gonna take a um, file and do the side wall, one side, then on the other side. Make sure everything nice and straight. So now I'm just gonna do the, I'm gonna shorten it down a little bit because I always want to extend slightly longer than I want to. So then I have room to shape uh, the nails, okay? So I'm gonna taper the both sides for almond look. So you keep doing that until the shape, uh, um, until you're happy with the shape, okay guys? I'm just gonna contour a little bit on the side here. Okay, now I'm done with all that. I'm just gonna use um, with a sanding band. And this is a fine sanding band or a medium. You could use a medium sanding band sanding band but I already used this one to shape, to prep her nails now I'm just going to use that and shape the cuticle area so I'm using about uh, 6,000 rpm I'm just going to go in and really just try to flush out that cuticle area and then I'm going to continue to just use the same sanding band and contour the shape as well Because with the 6,000 RPM, it doesn't really run, it doesn't run really fast. And because the sanding band, I can easily contour the shape and do the buffing at the same time. So essentially what I'm doing, I'm doing two tasks at once. I feel like with gel, it's so nice because it's nice and soft. And with the, you know, with the, pretty good amount of the product that you put on. It doesn't take a lot of sh um, shaping. So I find it's a lot easier to shape with the sanding band. Okay, now I'm just wanna make sure everything is the way I want it. I'm gonna go in with a thinner file. This is CND Kanger file, which is very thin. I love it. So now I can easily go in underneath the side and just kinda clean and shape that as well. So now I'm gonna take a final look. 
see if I do any do I need any more shaping it looks pretty good right guys I mean the side walls are clean and the shape is there okay look at the top view looks pretty good everything both sides are even all right pretty much it now I'm just gonna go back and cleanse the nail all right yeah that looks good so nice so now I'm just gonna go in with the protector top coat and um, if you want to keep it clear then you can go in with a top coat but if you want if your clients want to wear you know um, shellac or gel color then you can go ahead and apply the gel color uh, after this okay but for today's look I'm just gonna go in with the top coat okay And if your clients want to wear this sheer look, uh, like a clear look, you can also flip her nails over and put a tiny bit of gel top coat underneath, um, the, I mean, the back of the nail. So it gives you a really nice and clear nails. Okay, so once you do that, flip on top and just make sure it's nice and clean. Then you go in for 60 seconds. All right, guys, I hope you like this look. If you like this type of tutorial, let us know. Put it down in the comments. And if you already tried it, you, do you like it? Or if you haven't, let me know because we actually have uh, extra sets. Uh, we're gonna do giveaway. And if you put down the comments, I'm gonna put you guy name in the raffle so then uh, we can do the drawing. Um, and then we're gonna announce that uh, giveaway on the next tutorial okay guys if you like me to do a like a refill rebalance on this set let me know as well the more comments you make the, the more chance you're gonna win this giveaway again we're gonna give out three sets of this uh cnd um plexi gel kit so if you like this uh set and you want to try it put down the comment you want to try cnd um plexi gel and the more comments you make, we're going to put out all the names in the box. We're going to draw it out and then we're going to announce the winner on the next tutorial. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I just, uh, after we did um, C&D Nailathon, uh, end of last year, last October, and I have opportunity to do a couple of videos with them as well. And I got to play with the form and the plexi gel. And a couple of my friends asked me how to use it and see how I like it. So they want me to do a demo. So I hope you like the video. Overall, I think this is a great product. I think I like the versatility of uh, Shaper Gel and the builder. I find that in a salon, you can always bounce back and forth with both type of Plexi Gel. I find that sometimes if I just need a thin coat to get that little bit of enhancement and, and strength on a client, I can easily put like a thin coat of Shaper Gel or if a client needs a little bit more health, uh, more help and more strength on, you know, the on the nails, then I use the Builder Gel. So uh, personally, I've been using it about a month in the salon with my clients. And so far, I don't have really like with lifting or any type of reaction to the product. And the other thing I want to recommend you to if you do own CND uh, lamp, it's probably work best with CND lamp. But if you use with other lamps, you might have trouble with heat spike. So uh, just be mindful about that. And that's why I recommend it. If you don't use CND lamp, you may have to kind of flash cure it with a little, um, um, you know, the little flash uh, light. Or you can always put the hands, uh, the nails outside the lamp and have it flash cure you know, with the light on about 10 to 15 seconds. And then after that, 
put the whole hand inside the lamp and have it fully cured. So yeah, those are my recommendations. Um, like I said, um, we're gonna give out three sets of this. Um, if you want to give it a try and wanna test it out yourself, leave the comment. And again, um, let me know if you like this type of tutorial. I know it's been a while, so I'm glad to be to do this again. All right, guys, have a good day. And remember to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Have a good one, bug. Have a good one, guys. See you next time. Bye.